Welcome back, VC. Mark here. Welcome to Recent Final Finds number 25. Uh, kind of a sad day for me. I was checking emails this morning and I saw that Taylor Hawkins, the drummer from the Foo Fighters, passed away. Totally shocked. Um, he was only 50 years old. I'm not sure that they know uh, the specifics of his death yet, but it's a terrible loss. Um, really, really sad. I'm a huge Foo Fighters fan and a big fan of Taylor's drumming. Um, this is a, a solo release that he released. Um, great album. Love that console on the back. This is Red Light Fever. Uh, just a amazingly talented musician. Uh, he was a drummer in his uh, high school marching band. Uh, just great chops. You would have to be a pretty uh, spectacular drummer to uh, sit behind David Grohl. Uh, again, just uh, a really sad day. I feel terrible and send my condolences to his uh, family and friends and uh, his band members. So we will remember Taylor today. All right, it's been a while since I posted a video, so I'm going to start. I may or may not get through everything. Uh, so last Friday morning, I was uh, pulling up to my local Walmart at about 6.45 in the morning. That was the day that the uh, limited edition release of Pearl Jam uh, Rearview Mirror was uh, being released. Uh, it was released on the uh, 10 uh, fan club site, the Pearl Jam site, and then uh, limited edition through uh, Walmart. And it's going to be released on September the 30th on Black Vinyl. Uh, so if you missed this, uh, you'll be able to purchase the album then. This is the first time it's been reissued since it's been released. So um, before I went over the uh, reissues, I thought I'd show you my original vinyl. And this album uh, goes for about $500 uh, today. I carefully took the shrink off. Uh, this is the original shrink. The reissues were uh, two album sets. The original uh, came in uh, a trifold, and uh, I keep the vinyl separate. But again, they were four albums, and they packaged the albums uh, two in each sleeve. Probably not the best way to uh, package a record, but just wanted to show you the original cover. Original jacket. Look at that. And then the uh, reissues. So these were done on uh, colored vinyl. Volume one is black and white. And these are gate folds. I'm not going to take the shrink off of these but they came with some beautiful inner sleeves. Just great pictures of the band. There's a great picture of Eddie uh, singing here on this one that I really like. Right there. So many classic uh, Pearl Jam songs. There are some uh, 2004 mixes. Um, I prefer the original uh, mix, but uh, I'm not going to go down the song uh, listing. Uh, you know all the songs. Jeremy, Even Flow, uh, let's see, Corduroy, Not For You, amazing song. Spin the Black Circle, one of my favorites. Uh, let's see, Go Animal, Alive. And that's just volume one. And volume two was uh, released on black and gray vinyl. So again, really, really happy to get those uh, reissues. I have a feeling they're pretty much sold out at this point. Again, if you missed uh, this reissue, you'll be able to uh, snap up a copy in September. The next record is uh, Sun Records 70th Anniversary Compilation Volume 1, curated uh, by Chris Isaac with Chris's personal liner notes. 
and this album is filled with classics, uh, what, what you would expect. Uh, Johnny Cash featuring the Tennessee Two, I Walk the Line, Folsom Prison Blues, Jerry Lee Lewis, Breathless, Roy Orbison, Ubi Dooby, and then Rock House. Uh, let's see. Um, Little Junior's Blue Flames, Mystery Train, just filled with classics. I have not opened this one yet. Can't wait to give it a spin. The next few items I found down in the honey hole. I'll start out with the Sun 10 inch. Uh, this was put out by Charlie Records uh, out of France. Nice, uh, nice reproduction of the Sun label. This ties in nicely with the uh, Sun compilation I just showed you. Uh, this has Carl Perkins on it, Glad All Over. And Carl also uh, signed this. Uh, so I have his autograph. Really, really cool. I'm going to frame this. Next album is by Elvis Presley, Rockers. And this is a 50th anniversary reissue. What a great cover. Just incredible. This album sounds really, really good. Uh, they did a really good job with the uh, pressing. It was digitally remastered from the original monophonic master tapes. Uh, sounds incredible. Jailhouse Rock, Blue Suede Shoes, Tutti Frutti, Lottie Miss Claudie, I Got a Woman, Money Honey, Ready Teddy, Rip It Up, Shake Rattle and Roll, Long Tall Sally, Your Square, Baby I Don't Care, and Hound Dog. All classics. The next album is another Honey Hole Find uh, by Timothy B. Schmidt, a great bassist. Uh, great vocalist, uh, played with the Eagles for years, uh, backed up so many great musicians. Uh, this is a solo release in pristine condition. This is actually a white label promo. Just beautiful. This came with some special items that you don't often see with uh, white label promos. There is a record label print. And then there's this uh, bio, this nice little four page bio. Really cool. Next one is by Gene Vincent and the Blue Caps. And this is a 1976 repressing out of France on the Orange Capital label. Really early rock and roll, just an iconic cover. Uh, this album used to command uh, a pretty penny uh, back in the day, original copies, uh, not so much anymore, but I uh, just love that cover. Another Honey Hole find, uh, this is a sealed copy of Hank Williams Jr. live at Cobble Hall in Detroit. Hank Williams doing a bunch of his father's classics, Your Cheating Heart, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, she Still Thinks I Care, just so many great songs. Jambalaya, Foggy Mountain Breakdown, You Win Again. I believe this was released in 1969. I found this great, great book. Uh, this is the Blues Album cover art, edited by Graham Marsh and Barry Lewis. Just filled with great pictures. Uh, I just was not aware of so many of these great classic uh, blues titles. I'm going to take some time to go over uh, some of the pictures with you. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, this is Brownie McGee and this is on Folkways. And the thing I love about this book is they dedicate one whole page to the to the album cover art, which is just phenomenal. Let's see. Don't tempt me with the blues. Tampa Red. This is on Pacific Jazz Records. Bumblebee Slim, Back in Town. This is on United Artists. Memphis Slim, Broken Soul Blues. I really need to bulk up my blues uh, vinyl collection. Mean Old Frisco, Arthur Big Boy Crudup. 
This is on fire. Mississippi Fred McDowell. I do not play no rock and roll. This is on capital. So many great titles. John Lee Hooker, House of the Blues. John Lee Hooker on the waterfront. This was on Wand. An album many of us know. Sunhouse. That's my story. John Lee Hooker sings the blues. This is on Riverside. I really love this cover. Lightning, the blues of Lightning Hopkins. And this was on uh, Prestige, Bluesville. So cool. This is Joe Turner on Savoy. And the blues will make you happy too. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much uh, more time with this, but so many, so many great covers. And then I also found this uh, worldwide concert book from Live Aid. Uh, so many great artists. I forgot actually how many great bands participated in uh, Live Aid. Let's see. Very Young Bono. Beautiful picture of Shad Gay. Elvis Costello. Freddie Mercury, Queen. Really nice book. Let's see. I also found this uh, promo placard down in the Honey Hole. James Taylor. I'm going to put this in the basement. Not in the best of shape. Let's see, what else? I also found this book, There Was a Time, James Brown, The Chitlin Circuit and Me, Alan Leeds. He also uh, managed Prince. Um, his brother, Eric Leeds, uh, is a great saxophone player and he, uh, he played with Prince for many years. Amazing uh, saxophonist, very funky. He played alongside of Atlanta Bliss. Uh, he played trumpet. Really, really great. There are many uh, YouTube videos you can bring up uh, with uh, Eric playing with Prince. One that comes to mind is a, uh, a video from Detroit uh, from 1986. It was actually Prince's birthday and they were just on fire. Uh, just great, great playing. Anyway, looking forward to reading that. And then I may leave the 45s for another video, but I'll go through the, uh, the few um, CDs I found down in the honey hole. This is a promo of Paul Simon, You're the One. This is an album from 2000. I picked this one up for my friend who is really into uh, hard rock music. I'm not familiar at all with this band. This is Godhead Silo, Share the Fantasy. Uh, this is a promo CD as well. A little pinhole in it. This is uh, Betty Blowtorch, Hell on Wheels. It's another hard rock band I'm not familiar with. Caramel, it's a promo. And then I have this uh, soundtrack to Bamboozled. Thanks again for tuning in. I think I'm going to throw on some uh, Foo Fighter albums and just kind of uh, have them playing as I uh, do my weekly chores around the house and remember Taylor. He was an amazing talent. Stay safe.